guys. Hi everyone. Today we're going to be making a jellyfish craft activity. So the first step is to take a small white paper plate and cut it in half, which we've already done. And then parents, if you can help your students uh, divide it into three or four sections, depending on how big the plate is, that will give them a rough guideline for where to color. So now we're gonna go ahead and color in our jellyfish using different colors. doing this you can be talking about colors you can ask questions what do you see outside that's yellow um, can you think of some green things some blue things or if it's more appropriate you can have your child instead of labeling things you can have them identify so you might hold up the two markers and say do you want yellow or do you want blue and make sure that they reach for the color that you think they're saying. You can also have them uh, grab the marker from you. So you can be on the other side of the room or you can just put it somewhere high. So like if they have a shelf or something like that, you can put it up there and have them grab it. Or somewhere like underneath the table, but make sure they watch their Pads. <laughs> yeah, please make sure what they're <laughs> okay. okay, and now we're doing the last one. Mm -hmm. So you can also talk about first, then, and last as a temporal concept if you think it's appropriate. And you can talk about how the plate feels, right? So when I'm coloring, it's a little bit bumpy, but then there are also some smooth parts. So you can talk about the difference between smooth and bumpy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have them also <clears throat> color like on the line or do like circles. Okay. All right. Oh, yours looks so much nicer. <laughs> so we are done with our jellyfish. We are going yep. to put some googly eyes on them. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm just going to grab some glue here. Make sure you don't do what I did. Don't put too much glue. <laughs> <laughs> you did put a lot of glue. Yep. Okay, I'm going to hold this up by the camera so you all can see. So there's my jellyfish. Here's mine with a bunch of glue. And now, oh, what are we missing here? We're missing uh, the, the jellyfish, I guess, tentacles, right? So we're going to yeah. have oh, that's right. Alex record. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So parents, we have a balancing beam here on the floor, but if you don't have a balancing beam, beam at home, you can use just painter's tape, I believe this is, yes, painter's tape, mm -hmm. and lay it on the floor so you can have your children walk in a straight line on the tape, okay? Yeah, and have them balance, make sure that they're putting one foot in front of the other, kind of like this. So, so let's see Val do. <laughs> Val is going to fall, so children are going to walk. Balance on the line, then step off, and then we have some streamers here that match the colors that we painted our jellyfish. And then, like Alex said, you can put them up somewhere high where they have to tippy toe to pull them off. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to walk back to where their jellyfish is and match the color. And you can have them label it that's red. And then do it all over again. So yep. back to the balancing beam. You're going to have them tippy-toe on it. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. It's right. make sure you have a good hold of them when you do that. <laughs> yes, they might need you to hold their hand. Yep. So I'm going to match the yellow and then the last one. Sorry, 
like because I'm moving too You're fast. You're good. You're fine. Make some big steps. <laughs> and I've got the blue. Match it up. And there you've got your nice little jellyfish craft. Awesome. Bye, guys.